Summit. And today we're going to learn about how to edit uh, the station labels that we already put tomorrow, uh, yesterday, and how to change radius of curves, uh, and how do we add more labels to it which will represent the beginning of project and the end of project and horizontal uh, uh, curve points as well, including PC. P, uh, PI and PT, which stands for point of curvature, point of intersection, and point of tangent for us. So let's start with changing our uh, radius of the curves. Uh, for that, um, okay, so we left our alignment like this. So when we click this, when we select our alignment, just left click on it, we will get a toolbar like this. It will change uh, accordingly uh, to whatever you select like on vertical profile it would be different but on horizontal uh, alignment it would be like this so all you have to do is click on geometry editor and you will get the layout tools back again uh, for you now uh, once that you have done this just uh, tap on alignment grid view now that you have done it there will be a list that would uh, be shown to you which would show you your uh, curve lengths, your chord lengths, your uh, bearings for the curves, uh, and their deflection angles as well, and um, chord lengths and their stations, and uh, yeah, all of that data would be shown to you that was used in drawing your alignment. Now, if you would look at the radius, all of it is uh, set to 200 meters, which is um, by default. You can change it by default, like if you are working on a project that has almost same um, curve length so that you won't have to go through the hustle to change all of that you can set it as default while you are creating the alignment uh, but for now uh, the alignment um, curve radius was uh, set to uh, 200 but let's just go through where you can change your curve the default radius from all you have to do is select this and go to curve and spiral settings when you would go there you can change the curve default radius from here you can set it to 2000 meters or 5000 meters or 18000 meters or whichever curve that you are going to go through again and again in terms of repetition of their radius so all you have to do again now is to change their radius if you forgot to do that is alignment grid view okay. click on it and then there will be this drop down list shown to you now you have to change radius from here for that uh, the designer would have given you the radius of curves uh, along with their PIs uh, you have to change them here so let's go and see uh, what radius of curves do we have here so first one is 6000 meters then there is 2000 meters twice and then 400 and then 5000 so let's go through it 6000, 2000, 2000, 1200 and 5000 so I'm going to change 6,000, 2,000, 2,000, 1,200, and then 5,000 again. Now, the radius would have been applied once you are done with this to your alignment there aren't many um, curves in this uh, five, uh, 50 kilometer uh, alignment and uh, most of its spot is straight as well now, now you would see that you know your curve hasn't been drawn the way it should be for all uh, to you know uh, set that all you have to do is just regenerate it the command is RE same as that of um, AutoCAD, press the head bar, uh, space bar, hit the space bar and then here it is, it's set to normal again. So now you can see it better, your curves have been changed and applied the way it should be, the way the designer designed them. So okay, we are done with that. Now that once you have applied your radiuses, all you have got to do is check for your last station if it matches um, that as that of your um, uh, designer data. If your end of project is really what he wanted it to be, you can check the station of your last. Um, uh, you can check your last station of your alignment. So now uh, we will head back to the provided data uh, again. Now we will see the EOP, the end of project is 198 plus 371.961. So that is 371 meters and 96 centimeters and 1 millimeter. 
But when you will come here, it is 372 meters. So almost four centimeters were round off by um, uh, civil 3D automatically. That's just uh, not something to worry about when you will export data from here, like coordinates or something. The change would be shown 371.961. Um, so there's nothing you should be worried of that you know you have added another meter to your alignment or anything. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. So now comes the part where I have to add um, or change labels of it. Now uh, AutoCAD by default shows you um, stations at per 20 uh, meters and then uh, the minor station at 10 meters each. Now we have to edit uh, labels and uh, edit and change the um, station that you know uh, change the distance that these stations are shown on. All you have to do is just right uh, left click your uh, alignment and then I want you to left click it we will go to edit alignment labels once we are here there you would see major stations and then there is this minor stations we can change the increment increment um, distance from here I will set it to uh, for say 500 meters and I will change minor to 250 meters and I will hit apply and I will check it. So now if you would see they are only shown at round RDs. So you can change it to basically any distance that you want. You can change it to 25 meters, 10 meters, 5 meters, 500 meters, 5000 meters. It depends on what kind of project you're doing. If you have just built a bridge, of course, you would need to draw it in 3 meters or 5 meters. And if you are working on a railroad and you just want to give an idea to your uh, seniors that uh, where this alignment would go, the very first alignment that you would draw on a project doesn't need to be that accurate in terms of stations. All you've got to do is just mention them how it would look like. So, yeah, it... it it really depends on what work you are doing and what uh, is the demand of your work uh, at that moment and you can change it according to that. Now comes the part where we have to add more um, labels to it where we would be uh, uh, you know, adding uh, horizontal uh, geometric points uh, where it would show us the beginning of curve, uh, the mid ordinate and then end of the curve and beginning of project, end of project etc. So for that I want you to uh, left click your alignment again, select it and then uh, right click it, go to the edit alignment labels from here. You would see uh, this menu and there would be type of uh, alignment labels and you there are literally many from which you can uh, just uh, select and choose. I would just delete it for now. And for example, I want to know where my curve starts and where my curve ends, so I would select geometry points. And all I have to do is just uh, click on add button. And now there will be many things that, you know, uh, the kind of data it is asking you, what do you want to see? You can just select um, the kind of data that you want. For example, I just want to know where my project be begins and where it ends for example uh, and tangent to tangent intersect I don't want that curve midpoint yeah let's have that and yeah that's about it that I want from here now you would think that why is this stupid option there that show me at the uh, beginning of project and end of project now remember that this road is just a fifth kilometer section of it there is 150 kilometers to this side of this road and there is almost 100 kilometers to this side of road so when you would draw alignment all of it is going to join together and it will be so tough for you to find if there uh, where does my uh, project starts from like where does my section starts from in this road or in this alignment so you have to add this so that it would tell you BP beginning of project and it would tell you the station of it and it would exactly mark that um, location where your section is going to start from so beginning of project was given to me and that is 150 now here is the mid of a curve and let's go and check if we have our end of project as well so now here it is 
So that's about it in this video where I explained to you how to add more labels to your alignment, how to edit the existing labels in your alignment and how to edit the radius curves of it once you are, have just started to build your uh, alignment or once you have just uh, built your alignment and you know the distance is short how do you check for errors and how do you change their radiuses in that so stay tuned for next video so just take care of yourself uh, till then and be safe and I hope that you are going to have a great day just uh, don't remember to ask me any kind of questions at any time that you uh, get while you are drawing this alignment and I will also be putting the links uh, to the data that I am using to draw all of this alignment. So yeah, just take care of yourself and stay tuned. Bye bye.